Lord Inquisitor, Bonnie Sims at your service. I trust good secret was not too coarse. Now that you've come to some good fortune, you deserve an upgrade. As master of the tradesmen, I stand ready to supply your every need. Who or what are the tradesmen? A following of sympathetic and profit-minded individuals who promotes local craftsmen and fair importers. A guild of sorts. Although that implies counter affiliations, we are not interested in crossing. Our purpose in the Inquisition is legitimate and honorable. You will have what you need at honest prices. Sigrid survived Haven. Where is he? About. Doing good work for you and yours. But this position is now more desirable. It was time arrangements were made. I shall make every effort to prove that this is an upgrade. What do you bring to the Inquisition? What you need, and more. It takes great coordination to make a remote location seem central. Many now make the journey to Skyhold. We will ensure they continue to see the benefit. Why are you a mere merchant if you are the master of this group? I wish to avoid the suggestion that I am a posturing commander atop a structure of malcontents. It is better to remain active, hands-on. Do you not agree, Inquisitor? We'll speak another time. Certainly, Lord Inquisitor. Your worship. How are you doing? Good business? Building. Always building. Thanks to you. Skyhold needs a healthy flow of goods. How can I help? Free the trade routes of obstruction. Restore security to the outposts, the keeps. And the merchants will find you. We'll speak another time. Certainly, Lord Inquisitor. First, a full wheel of Antivan smart cheese, and now three royals worth of crushed mint. They were right here. I remember seeing someone take them. I just... I can't recall their face. There's no end of it. I could store an army. Someone emptied a whole bag of turnips into the fire. Ah, oh, make it, the smell is everywhere. I was gonna use them for dinner and then... Oh, the caracol, who took them? can't fight a god. The Elder thing's not a god. He's Darkspawn. The Maker's not Darkspawn. But they say that's why he cut the sky. To claim the throne. Inquisitor, Elan Vimar. Honored to represent the College of Herbalists and offer my services as apothecary. My colleague Adan was clear about the worth of your cause. I look forward to assisting him. He didn't seem all that friendly toward me. A sign of his respect. Smiles are saved for fools, so they leave quickly. All the mundane needs of Skyhold will be well tended. 
If you note anything special, let me know. I'm here to serve the cause we must. Your worship. What is your evaluation of our supplies? We are well supplied, and I foresee only better to come. Where did you receive your training? I studied with Adan after he left the service of the King of Ferelden. Well, when the King was no longer there to serve. Our College of Associates tends to meet informally. I've since been fortunate enough to serve various heads of state. They are all as good as another, truth be told. My skills and contacts are better suited to more imminent need. I take it you're a city elf, not Dalish. It's not a useful identifier. I am an elf. I was raised away from the Dalish. No, I do not know their customs. Perhaps that wasn't immediately obvious. It's of little concern. I have skill enough to be evaluated by what I can do. My associates appreciate my work. Are there others who could come to Skyhold? They are helping now. I have contacted many of our finest, and their influence is not inconsequential. They are not, shall we say, prone to take the field, but we will be well supplied. As you were. Of course, Inquisitor. Ah, Inquisitor, you have finally come into your own. The Maker has put you on a difficult path. I pray you walk it safely. I remember our talk out there before we found Skyhold. It wasn't just the Maker who put me on this path, was it? The Inquisitor could never have been Cassandra, or Leliana, or me for that matter. We are too political too tied to the Chantry and all its failings. But I did not make you stand against Corythius. I did not make you risk death to save the people of Haven. Only you could be the Inquisitor. I only pray the power of the Inquisition is enough. I'll do my best to earn this. You earned this in Haven. The Maker has chosen you to deliver us from Corythius. You have the faith and support of everyone here. Never forget that. Now, was there anything else? Can you tell me anything about Corypheus? I know nothing of the man personally, but the chant of light speaks of what he claims to be. No matter all their power, their triumphs, the mage lords of the winter were men and doomed to die. Then a voice whispered within their hearts Shall you surrender your power to time like the beasts of the fields? 
You are the lords of the earth. Go forth to claim the empty throne of heaven and the gods. That was one of the old gods speaking in their dreams? Yes. Dumat, as I understand it. In secret, they worked magic upon magic. All their power and all their vanity, they turned against the veil, until at last it gave way. That sounds like what happened with the Breach. Very similar, Inquisitor. Above them, a river of light. Before them, the throne of heaven waiting. Beneath their feet, the footprints of the Maker. And all around them echoed a vast silence. But when they took a single step toward the empty throne, a great voice cried out, shaking the very foundations of heaven and earth. Corypheus said he found only chaos and corruption. The chant of light says that it was beautiful until the Maker himself spoke. And so is the Golden City blackened with each step you take in my hall. Marvel at perfection, for it is fleeting. You have brought sin to heaven and doom upon all the world. Corypheus seemed so certain that he heard nothing. He described it as dead whispers. Bitterness, perhaps? He paid a high price for his crime. Violently were they cast down, for no mortal may walk bodily in the realm of dreams, bearing the mark of their crime. Walking bodily in the realm of dreams is exactly what Corypheus said he did. But the mark, could it be related to the mark I bear? I cannot say. Perhaps Andraste saw clearly and we misinterpreted her words. It was always taught that the mark they bore was the shape of Darkspawn. Bodies so maimed and distorted that none should see them and know them for men. That is all I know of your adversary, Inquisitor. Some of the Chant of Light describes what we've seen and what Corypheus said, but not all of it. The Chant of Light is the work of mankind. We of all people must accept that mankind is fallible. Listeners may have misheard one of Andraste's songs. Just one word sung incorrectly could change everything. And how many verses were stricken or changed for foolish political reasons, like the canticle of Chartan? Still, I would trust these words over any spoken by Corypheus. I hope they help you. Herald of Andraste. Can you tell me how our people are doing? What would you like to know? Do you have information on people elsewhere? The refugees in the hinterlands are desperate. Without help, starvation or war will claim many lives. Villagers in Crestwood are besieged by their own dead. They have sent word begging for assistance. People are vanishing in the hills of Empress du Lyon. It may be demons or something worse, but they are terrified. More than that, I cannot say. It is a chaotic time for all in Olay and Ferelden. How are our forces at Skyhold doing? Still in shock, for the most part. To see Haven destroyed so soon after the Conclave. You saved many, but still lives were lost. And traveling through the wilderness did not make treating injuries easier. For all that, though, more people arrive every day. Some are refugees, but others want to help. Your Inquisition is growing. I pray you use it wisely. Farewell. Until next time.